Good evening. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello, everyone. How the devil are you doing? He said, adjusting the pop filter, which isn't working, it seems, at the moment. There we go. Good evening, Savik. How the hell is everybody? Are you all, are you all feeling honky-dory? I'm over on the live server at the moment, as you can probably tell by the population. Not sure what the plan is for this evening. Hence the title of the stream, Something Something Dark Side. Who knows the reference? <laughs> because it is a reference, believe it or not. Yes, I need to spam that the... Uh, the stream is live. Yes, we do, but in order to do that, we need to open up Chrome. Family Gas. Yes, well done. George Glass 87. You are indeed correct. Right, okay, so on the Facebook, I guess. We'll go to the Facebook group. Spam over there. And poof. Send that over there. And why are you no Discord computer? Why where's Ah, there we go. We found him. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so I've spammed over there. I've done all that one. We've done the book face. Right. Spiral Demise, High Colors. Yes, it's true. It's darkness. True fans are already... Are here already. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, so we're all here. I was thinking... Might go grab some daily edge and then head for test live do a bit more exploring down in the dungeon do we think do we think maybe <laughs> so domahoney with the uh, the yay edge see if you do um Yeah, and that one is me waving back with little arms. <laughs> Always like that one. Don't have a tone on test. Yeah, you would have to build a tune. That's the that's the only downside for the new dungeon. Uh, it's only on test live at the minute. There was a patch. There was a patch on test live yesterday. I have no idea. Um, what they added, or changed, or if they changed or added anything. Usually, it means they have, when there's a patch on Test Live. It's a Tyrannosaurus, yeah, Tyrannosaurus Kalos too, with a little bitty arms, so he can't even, <laughs> he can't pick his own nose. Yes, it's that sad. But yes, I have not done... Le dailies, yeah. There's a lot of bodies around. That's nice to see. Always nice to see bodies. Tyrannosaurus. Misnamed all the dinosaurs. They were closer to birds than they are to lizards. In fact, they are not lizards. They are, they are reptiles. But I think the way classification works, if you've evolved, one species evolves from another species, it's still classed as that species or something weird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Le prisonnier. 
would like an elite assignment. Prisoner, please. Yeah, well, I was having a discussion about it last night. But yes, it's um, it's a thing. It's just the way science... It's like Pl Pluto is still a planet, but it's not classified as a planet. Not because of its size, because it is actually pretty big. Um, its classification is due to the fact that um, it hasn't cleared anything else out of its orbit, apparently. Birds are dinosaurs, but not all dinosaurs are birds. That's it. It's something like that, yeah. That, that's how they branched off. But the pelvic joint is quite different on the dinosaurs. It's what you see on birds versus... You know, like the raptors, they, they'd already figured out by the time they were making Jurassic Park that raptors were, in fact, feathered when they were making Jurassic Park. But they said, well, don't do that because people are expecting a movie about lizards. And I, I still love the very first film. I still find it a lot of fun. No, no buff from old Stellabot. Uh, Doja. Giant colourful birds are not scary. Have you seen the claws on them? <laughs> and that beak. Look, you know. Don't forget, things like a, an emu can disembowel a man very, very easily. Big birds are very scary. <laughs> if you're thinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at any bird of prey. It's it's quite scary. Demon of shadow, you'll do. You will, yeah. yeah. Birds of prey, while fantastic looking animals, are pretty um, pretty scary. A gastronorus. That's a pretty scary bird. I will look at that. It says you look at big bird on Sesame Street. Oh my god, that's a link and a half. <laughs> yeah, you see the, the, the little wings they've, the artist has, has put on there? I'm willing to bet they never came out. They, they'd be like, um, you know, some primitive snakes still have, are not true snakes because they still have little stubs where their fore and aft legs would be. Someone out here probably... Yeah, farming doges as well. We'll, we'll go. We'll go look at Somphos. Such spy TV. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Just look up the shoe bill one. Yes, scary birds that are rather large and therefore frightening. <laughs> How are you? What's happening? Um. Well, I'm in Wales, as most of you probably know, and those that don't, well, I am. Um, we're going back into lockdown for two weeks, starting Friday. Won't that be fun, everyone? So, yeah, I don't know I was going to throw a spanner in the works for everything. Yeah. Well, they had hot spots in the more urban areas, in cities in Liverpool, in Manchester, where, obviously, you've got a much higher concentration of people. Um, but they kept coming to Wales from those hot spots when they're not supposed to and spreading the virus here. And yes, ordinarily, the Welsh are very happy to see tourists, but not during a bloody pandemic we're not. Soon I'll be putting all Welsh people in concentration camps. Mm, I think not. Why would the Welsh put the Welsh in concentration camps? Uh, Wales is its own country. So not very likely. No, what they've done is they, they said, please place, they said to the British government, because although we're, we're the United Kingdom, it's, it's sort of like, <laughs> politically, it's like a feudal system. Um, but yeah, so the... The kind of Welsh political leader went to the main government and said, please, can you stop letting people come into Wales from places that are on lockdown? And they wouldn't do it. 
because it's not popular, you see. Instead of following the science, they started playing politics. How many disaster movies start like that? Duncan, hello. Yes, welcome to the stream. Irwin... Ir Irwin AO, I'm guessing you're pronouncing that. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's... Um, so he went and asked, and they said no. So he said, I really must insist, and they said no. And then he said, well, if you're not going to do it, we're going to close the borders. And they said, you can't do that. And he said, right, Wales is on lockdown. Nobody in or out. <laughs> so we kind of, yeah, it's politics more than scientific need, but they just needed to sort of slow down people going from one area to another. So, yeah, back into the lockdown age. So, yes, very, very weird. Please give Doja. No, of course not. Yeah, so there you go. That's what that's what's happening. We're going back into lockdown, so that means everybody's back at home. Nobody's going out to work. But it's only two weeks, hopefully. Right, Seventeen days to be precise. Starts Friday and just into October. So that's no Halloween in Wales. Well, no no going out and trick and treating and anything. Any crats? What's the best weapon choice? I don't know. I went pistols. I quite liked pistols. Yay, Doja. I quite liked pistols on crap, but you do you. Seriously. I genuinely mean that. If you want to go shotgun or something else. Okay, less dangerous than the flu. Lie. No, it isn't. It's much more dangerous. It's not nearly... The, the normal flu is not nearly as deadly, and there are vaccines. That's why. Whatever. Yeah, Morty, you don't honestly think it's a, some big conspiracy, do you? Oh, dear. Well, fair enough. Can't tell you what to think. I mean, I only know three people it's killed, but, you know, what do I know? Blood type is not how your body immunity works. Right, who here has a medical degree? Who here has a medical degree? Is a practicing doctor, surgeon or virologist? Anyone? Anyone at all? No. Right. So, let's not. I think, looking at it as well, I'll have finished regular research before I've done all my dailies. <laughs> so there won't be any point doing them because there's nowhere for the XP to go until I've got some more apotheosis to do. It's kind of scary. Now then, where do I want to go?
Right, so regular was it? Oh, place the bomber. We're doing place the bomber. <clears throat> and then, then, how many tunes have you got on test live, you guys? If we're going to go and look at the dungeon. Because I didn't get to see the final boss. <laughs> no, we'd all bug... Well, I'd bug it off by that point, but it was late for me, you see. So, yeah. You could bring your dock. That could be cool. I've got to nip out, unfortunately, but I will be right back, like I said, with <clears throat> all this new crap going on again. could bring your dock, that'd be pretty cool. Let's place the bomber. Poof. Need more AI levels and they always, always take the longest. Yep. The missus has had a letter at work, so apparently it's not a bad letter, so I'm just going to whiz her down to work to pick it up because she's actually off tonight. Uh, believe it or not. So, let's Go and find somewhere cool where I can do a intermission screen. Oh yes, of course. Ah, fail. I got it right the first time. Oh, stupid sign. They only painted one side, look. Right, I will be right back so you can enjoy the dulcet tones. Hopefully it won't be um, Tesco Club Card this time. I'm checking. I am. Gonna check. Oh, 
Right, okay, what the hell was I doing? Ooh, Tara. Right, uh, yeah, uh, chat's go and collect a letter, we've done that. So, yay! What have I missed, everybody? talking amongst yourselves good good that's what we like we like it if you can keep yourselves entertained <laughs> yeah it was um well funnily enough back to the old lockdown thing now she works at a hotel come pub restaurant place sethro seth so is now following thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in um the place where she works you got to remember it was shut completely closed for like six months of the year but this being the end of the financial year it turns out that they've actually beaten budget despite being closed for that long so yeah they got a massive thank you letter and a bonus from the company owners which is nice you know just saying kind of nice but yeah that's us. We work, we work as hard as we can in this house. Well, let's be fair. She does. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yes, that's cheered me up no end because it's made her happy. And if she's happy, I'm happy. That's just how it works. Right, okay. So I'm going to chance getting stream sniped. I think probably yes. Um, you... I always get it wrong. Yahumi is on the stream. Hello, welcome. 
and we're thinking going down and playing in the new subway as soon as I get a few dailies done I think I'm gonna go as far as Maba this one unless I get ganked on the way down yes hello welcome to the stream Seth so cool name Feels familiar. I tell you what I've been watching on TV lately. You know, I like to tell you about my adventures in uh, TV watching because I don't watch a lot of TV. So when I do, it's it's like a bit of an adventure. But I started watching Lucifer, and I didn't realise it was based on the Neil Gaiman stuff. And it is actually quite good. I'm enjoying it. I like it. I've got to season five without getting bored. Um, so yeah. But yeah, check it out. But I, I like a lot of Neil Gaiman stuff, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, you know, like... Um, Good Omens. I absolutely loved that book he did with Terry Pratchett. But I like Terry Pratchett as well, so no big surprise. But I also liked American Gods. I liked a lot of his stuff. Funnily enough, it appealed to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's having half my family being Catholic and... Yes, as in Roman Catholics. Uh, could have a lot to do with it. Because <laughs> a lot of it seems to be... It, it, it's that kind of thing. If, if if you went to those sorts of schools, etc., then, yeah. There's all that, you know. Just, some of it's a bit sort of in-jokes for people that did, you know. Anyway, so, yes, all very good. This will count as a daily daily, won't it? I've completed my assignment. Goodbye. Complete one normal daily mission. Okay. How close are we to finishing normal research? So doing the 70. This mission is Tara. So you literally, as long as you run down and tab on Tara, it completes the mission. And you get a daily's reward for it. Which is nice. I need to make more space in my overly, stupidly overfilled inventory. inventory, which, Whichever poison you like. I've got all this. Keep those in there. Okay, that will do. I hate the way the game does that you know you aim upwards i volunteer to hold on to your hnts for you oh, yeah we're gonna have to do another fashion show with um with scott and the gang i'm gonna have to go get that done enhanced queen blade i think it was just the no not in there not in there I think that's just the basic Queen Blade. I just picked it up because it dropped ages and ages ago. So, yeah. But that's the problem. Yeah. As Morty says, it is way, 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 way too slow to be a viable weapon these days. I mean, let's have a look at it. Yeah. Attack four seconds, recharge seven seconds. Just out of curiosity, our bot's back up and running. Let's just see how many nits you need to make one of these any good. Let's have a look. Right. To go full death with this weapon, you need 6,151 melee a nit. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> that's a mad amount of uh, a nit. No one, that's not a, an impossible amount to get unless you're like a GM or something. Where you can basically just god mode everything. You know, it <laughs> is just not a viable weapon. But it did hit hard at the time. The MBS, yeah, and that's that's the basic one. That's not even the enhanced. But yeah. Most of the time though, enforcers were like full ag and rage, you know, so that was the deal back then. Things were different. A simpler time. Kind of. A little bit. I don't know. 
Right, so we'll get this done. That completes the freelancers, and if that doesn't ding me into normal research, I don't know what will. It should do. Machine gun. And I have been carrying on playing Tale of Two Wastelands. I'm now in, at the moment, doing the bounties uh, mod. It's great, because you're basically playing like a bounty hunter. So you're playing, you're not even playing the game. You're just you know, running around being a bounty hunter. I got that one? What's this bit? Stock, stock. What do I need? A barrel. Well, I need a barrel. Where are the... And that looks like a barrel. Yay! Tis. Nice. Okay. Let's just use the other beacon we have. Right. Mr. Mission complete, sir. You can have all of these. I think that's going to finish off normal research. Yep, there you go. So, that's it. I have no... I can't start on Apotheosis 8 until I'm, what? Is that AI 26? And I'm a little over halfway there. So, hand in this daily. Mission complete. Goodbye. And that's it. That's all I can do. <laughs> So I'm going to do a prisoner daily um, and finish off and hand in the freelancers complete, which has no time out. I can go and hand that in the same day, but there's no point doing that until I've hit another AI level. So we're done on the live server with this tune. Yes, we are. So do we want to go to the test live server and have a look at the dungeon? Now I'm thinking. That's going to be a bit of a thing, is it not? Maybe, yeah. Yes, we want. Hi, people. Vulpoo, how are you, dear? Are you doing all right, my dude? Um, or do that, I never asked. Right, test live. I patched earlier on. Oh, another patch. I've got a patch again, guys. So there's a, this is the second time I've patched since Sunday. God, you, the guard keeper, no longer teleports players to himself. Guard, you, is rooted in place during the entire encounter. Searing flames are not immediately active. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait, that's June 23rd. So no notes. Long time, no locker. Temple of the... Th yeah, that's dated June 23rd. June 23rd. So, and um, yeah, that's not the subway. So, we don't know. There's no spiel. Right, I'm up to date. Logging in on the test server. Hey, it's there. Why is Afterburner not working? Why you be so weird, Afterburner? Are you there? I like to see what's going on with frame rates and such. It's supposed to be there. Mm. On screen display for that one ain't working. Sharpened spork. Glad to be catching the stream live for So oh, I'm glad to have you. Now, what else did I have here? You see, these are all randomy tombs. You see, my 
this these are like really old clones like a 152 enforcer there you go moriarty was at my highest ever dock <laughs> solicitor's doctor and Lubilu 220 MP was that would have been my wife's I think don't know my other keeper Nack Doggy says Wolf no idea that fixer I don't think he's done so the only one I know for sure is up and running really is the shade <laughs> it'd be nice if we could do character transfer to live again that would be awesome because people would go right here's my actual character and then you know just go and grab an ACDC from uh, <laughs> from auto and call it a day so we're on the test server yes we are why does it do this and I've tried logging in it doesn't work so yes we are outside the thing I've got defensive on yes I do Savic the foolish testers that's the guild you want to be in if you're on test live yay Yahumi and I probably say that wrong every time Savic you you typed it out phonetically for me once and I actually got it right um, but I can't remember it now. And I need to buff. Apparently. Yeah, all the top bars and stuff are actually a copy and paste from whatever. Ritualistic touch, what have we got here? No. Let's see. Two girls don't like. She's not worried about that. Oh, is this a one? Yeah, these these are like copy and paste from the live server hotbars, so they're not quite right. Yumi, Yumi Himi. I see. I was saying it wrong. It's four syllables. Yumi Himi, Yumi Himi, Yumi Himi, Yumi Himi, Yumi Himi. Yes. See, I, I get it now. So, have we got anyone else from the Foolish Testers or anyone else who has a character all set up on uh, Test Live? It, honestly, it, it take you about to be completely set up and all your hotbars and, you know, GUI all sorted and getting all your gear on probably an hour which is a lot quicker than doing it on <laughs> the live server from scratch you know just saying real men need more than one woman <laughs> oh god no <laughs> yes yes of course they do right okay so um are we gonna poke around in there with three are we gonna wait for more people Now, you see, I, I settle down in the end, and that's all I need. I've got my missus and her mother. That's enough women for for any man, trust me. Yeah, my, my folks are gone. Long gone now. Be eight years soon. No. Yeah, no, it is eight years. Wow. Be ten years soon, then. Scary. How time flies when you're just getting on with life. I haven't been in there yet. Uh, don't die. Uh, everything is aggro. Or it was. It was aggro. So, as far as we know, um, everything still will be aggro when we get in there. <laughs> and did you watch the live stream?
because basically we just went tank and spank all the way down. It's not it's not like um, Pyramid of Home or, or one of those. But yeah, um, the mobs hit bloody hard. I'll say that. They definitely hit hard. I died on Virgil on the way down, but Virgil is not the final boss. There was an ab mouth down there. So Abby is down there. But yes, this is test live. So you come to ICC. Did Lucy want to come? Wait a wait a wee bit, says Yumi Himi. Inspect the emph cough. Where? Oh, it's a keep. That's agent. Quent. Is that what you mean? No, it's another shade. That's an NT. In mimic amp with one hand blunt weapons. Okay. They all have on the ridiculous amounts of gear. Council of Truth Light. Oh, I see. That's a nice HUD item. 2000 ACs and 2002 everything. There you go, Matamet, 2K. Yes, if we could have one of those, getting gear on would be quite easy. Yeah, 2,000 to uh, most skills. Narrow resist, 1,000%. <laughs> yeah. Can't take that in. That, that wouldn't be testing the dungeon. Playfield, exactly 655. I think I know where that playfield is. Maybe. Yes, that's a rather nice item. What else have they got on that you can't have anywhere else? Let's have a look. Anything else in the armour? No, DB. This toon has no trousers on. Um, virtually no armour, but would you really need any at this point? And then lots of groovy stuff in, um, <laughs> in social. That's kind of cool. Now, apparently Suju didn't know that these could be worn by neutrals. You know the, you know, if you get one of these and add it to the regular, uh, token board you get from... Uh, alien helmet and then it gives you one of these um, defense paragon or the other version variant combat paragon she didn't realize the part you use for that now does that it's kind of cool yeah has no side attached to it so neutrals can wear a reasonable token board again it's pretty good 250 comp layer. Not about what well, we having a discussion about mallets now, are we? Nano cost percent ninety. <laughs> Reduce false for profession by a bazillion seconds.
neutral as well. You have to be neutral to wear it. You'll be people asking to go neutral just to wear that item. Yeah, that's a redonkulous bit of kit that, no, you can't have on the live server. Don't be silly. So we're waiting for more people to show up. I think this is all we're going to get, you know, until we get started. have low res cans as well but they they weren't useful because <laughs> i couldn't go back down unfortunately i would never have those in that order test live characters so everything's all higgledy piggledy yes it is I don't remember what helmet I've got on. Do I have the special edition? I think that's what I've got on live. I don't have these shoulder pads on live, but they are nice. I don't like the server because you have to twink alphas in. Yeah, you got to put alphas in. You need. You have to put alphas in. Oh, yes. <laughs> you do a bit. But you do get a free a ACDC, though. The test, I mean, well, it's not that hard when you've got every buffing item in the game. You ask for rings off auto, and he gives you quality 300 rings. Um, all, all the twinking gear, like three bags worth of... Um, end game twinking gear for you know there you go the idea is you put the gear on and go test things you, you know you're not building a character like you are on the live server it's just you know do you want to poke it you can have a look inside if you want Sav. do you want to have a little look inside tempting savic so I'm in a discussion about the mallet saying the unupgraded ones are better. I don't know. I've only got them on my enforcer. So I just got the upgraded ones. Right. When you kill a flea, it spawns garbage critters as well. And everything is aggro in here. Now we've had two patches. Do violent vagabonds now drop an upgraded cloak of some description, I wonder? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Rocks on the go. A level 270 Vagabond, yep. And a not quite so high level other thing. Is he going to just poof straight away like they were last time? Yep. No drop. I saw there was a Froob shirt with the level 2. Yes, that dropped on Virgil, I think. Yeah, these, when you kill a flea, these jump off the flea. <laughs> Isn't that nice, everyone? So the filth flea has its own fleas, apparently. Even fleas catch fleas. Who knew? So we have to sort of fight our way down. Is it worth checking out to see if... Yeah, everything's aggro, you can't blitz. Is it worth checking and seeing what the deranged chopper is like in the 201 dungeon? Do we want to check that out? That could be quite interesting.
garbage critters but it's a raid so if you came in here with um like 201 plus character you wouldn't be getting xp in here unfortunately as far as i know anyway we could check that but i'm pretty sure not in a raid you wouldn't and it does say must be 201 must be in a raid so it's a bit of a chore getting down You've got to kill everything there's no kind of like ignoring stuff i don't know though maybe with a crap we could ignore some of it, charm our way down. So if I get a spare hour tomorrow, I might make a... Um, I won't have time, I'd take a whole day to remake all the tunes I have on, te on the live server, on the test live server. So if they ever introduced um, importing tunes again, that would be awesome. Hint, hint. Unlikely though. But I'm wondering what the... Ooh, yeah, he does hit hard, doesn't he? But I got defensive left. Yeah, and... Power... Defensive... Yeah. About the same as I have on live. Trader has a better calm than crap. No, you lie! Does he? Yeah, but a crack can calm the boss. I thought... Trader was second best calms than NT. I mean, NT's are quite good. But traders can, if they've drained, if they're fully drained, they can have redonkulous um, nano skills to check against. So sometimes they can calm better. There is much greening going on on the stream. The screen has lots of green. Yeah, we had two shades last time we were struggling. Oh yes, there's some mines in here, Sav. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. I don't struggle calming on my uh, trader, I will say that, but I think it is to do with having redonkulous amounts of uh, nano skill because you've drained everything before you get to that mob. On a cold calm? I don't know, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe the crat has the edge. Okay, so the boss is still up there. He's still on top of the thing. That's the first boss. Eliminator Shiru. So let's get all the ads out of here first, because he does spawn a few more. So we're going to take him and then maybe go left and see if there's deranged shopper somewhere. Having to kill everything sounds like playing an MA. Yes! <laughs> yes, it does. I tried sneaking and you can't really. How big is it? It's as big as the the normal one, yeah. You have to kill placeholder bosses for terminals. Rather than a whirly portal you can always run through, you get um, like a DB3 style one. Oh dear. All right, I'll deal with Mugger. So you kill this guy and it spawns a, um, like a teleport, like DB3. Oh, Sav. No. We lost the dark. And you hear me? I'm pronouncing her name wrong again. No. Hang on. Too much damage. We need reflects. Who's got a soldier? All similar. <laughs> I 
Are you resing? Because I've got res cans. Yeah, as soon as Totemic Rights wasn't running, <laughs> it was game over. Yeah, because you've got the short boss calm, haven't you? On a crat as well. So you can calm the night heart and all of those sort of things for a short period, which does make certain situations a lot easier to deal with. I've sent a message across the ether and see if it, anybody knows. I'm sure Savik did something similar before he even got here, but you never know. Yeah, the AOE Mez on Rubicar is very powerful. Like, by the time you're doing Mantis dailies, it's awesome because you just calm the entire room, <laughs> you know, within range. And then just pick off the mobs you want. To, it's it's really really powerful. Um, not so much in Inferno missions though. They tend to resist it. I don't feel like I've got enough buffs running. I don't know why. I feel like I normally have more buffs running on Shade. It's weird. Sure, maybe I should go for a stun instead. I'm gonna go for the stun. I don't know if it'll work, but now the good thing is, even though going in and killing, ease uh, there's no respawn as far as we can see. And there's no one on LFT on test live, but there you go. Yeah, thankfully you don't have to. You don't get a respawn and have to deal with everything. Right, so gently pull the ads one by one. I think if you had, you know, crap, Engi, etc., it wouldn't be quite so bad. If it was only one mob, then the shade could have soloed a bit, but three, not so much. 
maybe with bigger bigger buffs like we had a cracking team as well uh, an Engie that would probably do it you know with the reflect and blockers so we've got ward so we had the Engie one as well and then the reflects and then the extra adult death aura from a crap yeah and then we'd, we'd really be sort of like mullering this a lot easier I'd, I'd say and if I had soldier I would have brought soldier but I haven't I haven't built a soldier on test live right I thought I'd killed him actually but... Yeah, and one on one, he's he's not a big problem for the shade, but revenge for killing Yumi Himi. This, this playfield doesn't register on um, your map at all, Sav. So you have to redo your map again! Right, careful, because there's usually thieves just here, isn't there? Go for the old sneak and back snap now. Damn you. I've got some high perception. How much sneak have I got on this? Because this isn't my live character, so I don't know. Concealment, 3,041. Oh, well. Good luck sneaking. If that's not enough, you're going to have to be an agent or something. <laughs> and even then, I'm not sure. I'm sure my agent has more sneak, but I can't remember how much more. Now, last time, the boss spawned a bunch of little lads. However, if you fight him up there, they could hardly get up to the top, and we were okay. But two shades is a lot of damage on these sort of mobs, so, yes. Yes, got the sneak backstab on him. Yeah, you feel like, oh, these guys are easy, and then a hit actually gets through, and you go, okay, yeah, not good. In fact, how about one of us roll a soldier really quick, and then we can buff... Our RFE is four hours now, isn't it? Wait, 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 guys, guys. Before we go into that room, right, plan, plan. My soldier clone will have our RFE. So, we all just run outside. We can have some reflects. And I can bump log my reflect on myself, I think. I think I can get it done here. First off, I'll I'll just log the uh, the soldier. So I'll be right back on him. I'm sure he's got R R F E. If not, I'll just boost him and get all the nanos anyway, and then he'll have it, won't he? 
So I'll give us all our, our FE. That's four hours. And then I'll try and bump log myself to give it to this tune, which I think I can do. So then we're going to be lots and lots tougher. Why have I got zero HP? Oh, zero damage here. Is the plan. Now, I don't know 100% because, because this is an old version, 217. He should, if he's a... Yeah, yeah, go on. This is test live, so it's, you know what I mean? It's all a bit, yeah. Okay, sat here, no prefs. Oh my God, with a perennium. This is a very old iteration of my, uh, why the hell has he got that? Has he got gear on? Where's the mini roll-up bot? Please, 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 for the love of God, Funcom. Will you put mini toolbar on by default? <laughs> Just please, please do it. Please, has he got RRFE? He should have it. I've never logged him in on this server. Hang on, I just went past it, didn't I? No. Come on, he must have... You know what? Talk to Auto, nice and simple. List mode for the win, yeah. Right, there we go. He does have it. See, my engineer, none of those are here. Otherwise, I'd go, right, ACs, blockers, yada, yada. Oh, another person. Or is that you, 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 me, he, me? Ah, very good. Right, okay, so. I'm going to log this guy off here. As he is. <laughs> completely, you know. Yeah, you don't have to worry about, oh, I need such and such a buff from whatever um, tune, because you just roll that tune and instantly have it. Org message. 100 million deducted for the... <laughs> right, we've got, a, we've got a city here as well. Right, okay, so I've logged off. So I'm going to log back in on the shade. Then I'm going to start a second Anarchy Online client. Which you can't see me doing. And this is called bump logging. It's, it's not multi-log boxing or whatever. Because uh, you, you have to crash out of the game for it to work, usually. Right, so here's, here's my tune. So I'm going to go crash out and immediately log back. To the soldier, oops, and hopefully the ghost of my tune is still here. It doesn't always work either. Quite often, you're not 
there, so can't play that character. Have I run out of N... Oh, is the NCU full on this character? Must be. I can't buff. Can't see system messages. For whatever reason. NCU. Um, yeah, right. Back round again. I thought I'd have enough NCU on this character. Hmm. Yeah, so you only have a very, very small amount of time window to buff the character. And um, works for wrangles, works for treatment buffs, you know, just general stuff. Um, but, yeah, you've probably given me something I don't need, I don't know. Or I've given myself things I don't need. Let's have a look. What is in her NCU? It could be her NCU isn't that great. I don't know. Not checked properly. Like I say, this is just um, a rebuild. Sklim buffed me with Council of Truth. Buffs. Yeah, but that's not thing, is it? <laughs> Cause 18 screen. No! <laughs> Well, that's ridiculous. I've got sync compressor. Oh. I'm being invisit test live. See if <laughs> somebody is doing the secret buffing and they're being invisible. Only only buffs that players can have, please. <laughs> Don't give me none of them blessed by Marius or touched touched by Marius. None of that shenanigans, thank you. We're testing. It's no good having uber strength of doom. Right, okay, well that's RRFE, which is now awesome because it's four hours. Thank you very big over there. Protester, you see. Not protester, but like a pro tester. Someone who tests a lot. Oh, you need to convert to raid Ms. Savick. Try to CC add buddy. Doesn't um There's Team Finder LFT work on should do, shouldn't it? Right, nobody looking. Have we lost Yumi Himi? Oh, the re-logging. Aha! Well, we're, we're better off with the RRFE and whatnot. They actually have the slippers of screaming on the live server actually finally dropped my keeper killed uh, creepy and they dropped so right okay so it's just us three again but okay we have the RRFE so we're a little bit all right leave Yumi getting injured then oh is that a respawn oh no we we restarted the team so the mobs are back, we've got a new instance. Right, okay. So if you could just farm the first boss in theory then, couldn't you? <laughs> I 
Well, yeah, we didn't kill any bosses, did we? Yeah, Temple of the Three Winds does give a raid lock. So, yeah, there is that. There is that, so... I've got ACDC device Stella. We're all we're all good. So, uh, people were asking last time, when is this hitting the live server? Honest answer is... Mm -hmm. Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. It was ignoring us, but... Right, there we go. So we've got to re-kill some of the ads, but that's okay. That's okay. What have I got here for some reason? I don't know why I'm wearing that. That, yes. Not sure about why that and that. Don't know. Not a... Copy. Most probably will drop for Christmas. I suspect that as a, you know. And this Christmas, a little something for you guys. Here's blah, blah, blah. You know, just a little thing for, you know, thanks for staying with us for so long. It's like, we've got no choice. After you've played Anarchy, all other MMOs are rubbish. <laughs> ooh, ooh, scathing. But honestly, that's that's kind of how it's always felt to me. Like I've I've said this before, and I'm not singling WoW out, but I just remember that experience uh, the most vividly. But I tried. To, now I played uh, Star Wars, the old uh, Sota, you know, the old Republic. I was quite. I was good at the game. I was in a good, strong raiding guild, but it was just, you know, it just got boring. Everyone was exactly the same. Everyone had the same cookie-cutter gear. I mean, you could argue that about Anarchy, but at least there are exceptions to that in Anarchy. Like, you know, a nano-mage agent with um, PDKPs who's permanently FP soldier, critting like you wouldn't believe and doing massive PVM damage. You know, stuff like that. Unique builds. And like, I went, I leveled one, I, I got to level two in WoW and went, right, where's, like, this entire window it didn't exist. And I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, it's plenty of options, I, I would say, 100%. Especially, you know, if you, if you know, the more you know about the game, the more experimental you can get. But some people go, oh, everyone's cookie cutter in AO. And I'm like, no, they're not. Yeah, there's always going to be a meta. Yeah. Lopnik's right. There's always going to be a meta. You know, best in slot kind of a deal. But you can be extremely effective and do something completely different. But with, like, SOTA, it was always the same. There'd be a new patch where they changed a bunch of mechanics. 
um, and it would be within 48 hours, it would be, okay, this is the new meta. You know, someone had already got the spreadsheet out and, and figured it all out. So there was no kind of... Um, yeah, come back in. Well, to hurt you badly. Um, yeah, so there wasn't any, you know... Tune didn't feel like your own. It was like, okay, in, in all your armor and implant slots now need to be this. Go, go make those. And then farming cra craftables was weird because a lot of it was sending companions off to find stuff, which meant you had to have one companion who was really good at finding things, and then the this other companion was better at finding another type of thing. And yeah, oh god, it, it. right. We'll pull the um, discarded pet. We'll get him over. No? No, we're not doing that, apparently. Yeah, they don't hurt, they just root you. Right, let's, I just want to clear as we go, except for that boss there. Okay, we got both. Fair enough. I strongly suggest... Giving CH to everyone was a big mistake. <laughs> well, Advies used to have a CH, now it's practically useless. It actually used to be useful. Uh, you know me and, and the old uh, RIP Advi 2015. Hence why mine has just not been played since then. Okay, so I know what this guy does, and last time he dropped that item there, unstable damage augmentation device, interesting. But we want to go and see if the deranged shopper drops anything and stuff like that. Yeah, my keeper's not the same as Savix at all. Savix are very much a crit build. Her head implant is Cortex of whatever, from the new Temple of the Three Winds. Does crit like hell though, that. It's a good build. You know, it's like in Anarchy, they go, here's, you know, a few new weapons, and suddenly, like, people have got vastly different builds just to go play with that one weapon, you know? made 2HE attractive to keepers again because a lot of people were bored of two hand edged on keeper and just going you know what melee energy zoom zoom Remember your door discipline, everyone. No fighting in doorways, you might as well be stood in the room if you do. Has it been that long since Broken Shores missions? <laughs> do you know the other weapon that drops in the temple from the first boss? The one that looks identical to the thing the IPCs uh, professionals model looks like and the character uh, class selection model looks like that sword I have that on live on my on my keeper the brute cal one and that one is also does the zoom zoom sound does the zoom is the zoomy sound yeah lightsaber sound ish it's it's different enough to avoid getting sued, I think, but that's about it. <laughs> also on live, my shade I tend to play her with uh, Medi Blades. Do 
Go on, please drop an upgraded version of the Vagabond Cloak. But you won't, will you? You're just going to poof as soon as you're a lootable item. Yep, there you go, he's gone. Two times melee energy are better than the new... Are you sure? Are you sure? Have you tested that? I like the new big thing anyway. <laughs> it felt... As soon as I picked it up and started swinging with it, I was like, yeah! <laughs> I, I think you want to see Savix... Uh, we'll, we'll get back to live eventually. You see Savix Keeper. Watch how much that... Uh, Right, a looter. Oh, that would be the wrong key. Never mind. <laughs> Sharpened Spork. Big fan of the new two-hand edge from Temple. Yeah, I am. I like it. I do. I like it. I love the detailing on it as a big old rusted, you know, brute of a weapon. It's pretty cool. Yeah, my, my other keeper is Atrox, but, you know, I do prefer my Solitus one. I do prefer her. Maybe because I've got an Atrox amp, I don't know. Could be. Now, will deranged shopper drop anything? Because if not, then we can, we can go and do, or attempt, the first boss. As... That's the only way to get further down. Oh my god, she hits like a train. She is hitting damned hard. There was like four and five, six K hits that was getting there. God damn. Yeah, I got what am I got? 23k HP at the moment. Please drop something, don't just No oh, she didn't drop anything. Right, oh well. There's nothing else that way, I don't think. Just more looters and whatnot. Okay, so the plan is we run up on top of there and go. does these hacked mech dogs but uh, they don't seem to get up here they'll probably fix that though up effects m for pve is the way to go people are laughing hard at first i've seen them all we're getting the yeah uh, putting the alphas on up effects is the easiest build to do uh symbionts on i find because, and I've said this many times, agility and sense are the two sort of stumbling blocks for most people doing alphas and betas. But they're easy on um, Oppie, obviously. And the most buffable stats being um, stam and strength are, you know, they're the weakest ones on an Oppie, but the easiest to buff. There's so many buffs uh, that stack, plus items, plus armor, plus everything else. My god, this guy hits hard. Uh, I'm gonna. There you go, put a defensive hood. He's drained all my nano as well. Somehow. I don't know if I'm getting hit by anything else. Can't you be him? Wow. The Nerf Mongo's rage at trucks will go extinct. 
beat <laughs> yeah oh we can't be ubt i'm sure we did last time i don't know he's too busy kicking his backside catch me if you can i think he's meant to run around yeah there you go you got it you got it comp moochums next then <laughs> go and roll an mp and just like do a quick boost and give you comp moochums get a bit further on the check resist okay my camera's just moved itself oh no you brought a mugger oh no he's run off the mugger's gone we're okay Yeah, something is draining my nano, but it's not draining yours, so, don't know, resistive gear on. Something's draining my nano, I'm not sure what it is. I don't think that stun proc is working on him at all. Used um, totemic rights there. Get the damage proc on. Ceremonial embrace. To do that and then. I think I got it. Yeah, got it on. Mid fight. I'm going to change the camera around just because this is horrible to look at on a stream there you go that's a bit better even though it's weird because now everything's backwards Vulpu says if UBT not landing try de degeneration yeah I guess Don't aren't they the same line on resist groups though We need to get some emph up in here. <laughs> yeah, he is wearing a fox mask. Nasty little bugger. Yeah, the ads despawn once he's down. Which is nice. Have some dimmish. Give him some dimmage. Rain of light. I can't remember what rain of light does. Yay! Thousand out double death, there you go. <laughs> God, these mobs are powerful. Oh, we're missing a few buffs. I mean, we've got RRFE and God knows so. And it's still hurting, haven't we? Have we not got Death's Door? Yeah, that's what he's landed on me. I can't see our, our FE anymore. I can see... Offensive, grid space... Not seeing our, our FE. I think my our, our, I think he's got rid of my reflect, you know. I think he has. I think he... Because I've not cancelled it. Oh no, there it is. God. Oh. 
What's up, my radius? There you go. And then list, and then they should pretty much say still. Come on, die, you son of a! Get my head back in the game, not on chat. Just while fighting, it's all the uh, bits of perk, etc., are uh, bouncing around in there. Sort by descending. Okay. No, it's still bouncing. Remain? No, because you see you got rituals popping in and out on a shade. Shade and Keeper. NCU is always like... Eek. Action is not available. Oh, have I not got... Uh, I don't have it on test live. Strange. I shall have to uh, go speak to Auto. <laughs> Get a bunch of light aside. Getting closer. Yeah, here we go. How much did? I oh, want to see how much that hit in four. No, nope, I'm going to lose that information. Never mind. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's all capsule. <laughs> Mine. Oh, look. Actually, that's quite a good one. Uh, what have we got? We got the... Oh, we've got a rifle. Distraction rifle. There you go, chat. So, level from 210, aim shot from 1300, rifle from 2200. And damage, 290 to 555 with a 250 crit bonus. Mm hmm. Not that fast. This rifle is modified from cast-off disaffiliation sniper, especially made to freeze the blood of the target. Special distracting shower. Mm hmm. Interesting. And then the um, the pants armor. Yeah, I hit him with um, that spirit siphon because it's a one percent of total HP hit when it lands, but. It would have given us a, a clue to how much HP he actually had. Well, I think I missed it somewhere. The stats on the pants is... Let's have a look. Reinforced bow cyber armour pants. Uh, not amazing. <laughs> They're good, but yeah. So 400 to 800 ACs. Max health and nano, 350. Uh, all base abilities, plus 5. Def and off, 10. Complet, 14. Dodge rate. It's like um, Molder Beam. Similar to that, actually. So, yes. Finally, well done, everyone. Bringing him down. We did okay there. Uh, I'm not sure about getting much further with just three people, though. I 
think we need more bodies. This will be a lot easier once it gets to live. We can go exploring with everyone in chat then, because at least people in chat have got tunes, whereas they don't hear. So, yes, difficult for people to come and play. We are pulling too many ads here, guys. Not amazing, but interesting, yeah. You know, if you've got nothing else, it's not bad. Last time he dropped a sleeve, which was basically the same, and this, which was the unstable damage augmentation device. Adds all death 50, but then changes your damage time, rotates it. Which could be interesting. 14 comp lit, yeah. Be just trying to squeeze into stuff. An IP is a little tight. the trash yeah so the next section you go through there and I can't remember I, you teleport through it huh? it's like a one of the beacons you'd get in DB3 sort of a thing similar to that and you cannot use it in aggro if, if the team are fighting something you can't get back down so that's how I missed the boss fight last time, which was a little bit annoying. <laughs> Died and like missed when he actually went down. Shadows. Yeah, it seems the trash mobs don't drop a damn thing. They, as soon as, you know, when something dies, uh, it takes a few seconds before on your screen you can actually loot the damn thing. What happens with the mobs in here, the sort of incidental mobs, is when you go to, you're waiting for them to, you know, be to become a lootable container, which is what's happening. Uh, as soon as they get to that point, they just poof, they vanish. Not like they drop and they've got no loot. It's just nothing at all. More ads. Although these don't seem so bad, actually. Shadows. Someone said they had had things drop on shadows, but none of the shadows we've killed thus far have dropped anything. Maybe they mean the ones further in. You know, lower down you've got more shadows. Could mean there. The bosses are basically a tank and spank, but they are tough. They do hit really quite hard, I'd say. So, not a total walk in the park, but definitely a bit of a challenge, yeah. Not like POH, where, you know, get it wrong, the boss will spank you silly. But not far off. An unprepared team in here is not going to do it. High-level trash probably may... Easy spirit farming, yeah. Wait till this guy gets to a little lower. Maybe. Well, I don't know, Virgil seemed to be doing something. You can see it more clearly than I can describe it um, on the stream. But yeah, he was spawning sort of light. Okay, there's one more shadow in here. <coughs> yeah, he was spawning and it looked like a cloud thing. And as I was run, ran through, I died, but even scrolling up. Yeah, Virgil was doing something. I think only Virgil and Abby are probably the ones with special mechanics, but that could all change. All of these guys might develop special mechanics once this is finished. 
you know. I don't know. Like I say, what you're looking at here, everybody, is work in progress. The test server. This is not the final product. This is not the final dungeon. It is likely to change quite a bit. Where to farm quality 300 mobs for spirits. Not you need to. Uh, usually Inferno. Let me loot you. Let me loot you. Nope. Denied. Let's go combat. Combat board. The city guards quality 300, right. The Unionists, yeah. So it's the same layout. It's just done. Um... Oh, right. So you've got two hours to get the raid completed from the first boss. Right. That's interesting. So you've got to be... Personal transporter. Where does it say that? This one doesn't though, does it? Just the one to get down here. Looks like it, yeah. I think the one that you click to get down rather than click to get up had a despawn timer on it. Two hours rarity. Oh, right, there you go. Can't be over farmed. Are you thinking, Volpu? Because I am. I'm thinking that's a pretty good idea. Stim fiend. Yeah, you got to watch when you're running and jumping around in here, though. Because you think how how much further and higher you can jump on your 220 tunes compared to your level 25s. No matter how twink they are. I was running down and I jumped and I went, Oh, look, I can see outside the entire playfield. You know, I'd end up running on a roof somewhere. Yeah, 260 to 280 ish mobs. And that's just the trash. So, yeah. One of the stages on your betas to Alpha's journey, anyway. So, two hour timer. Vulpu, discuss why this is a good idea. <laughs> I, know, I think I know why, but yeah. Does the chat know why? Does the chat even care? Another question.
double whammy. Always love to get the double whammy. Sneak and a backstabbing one it. Boom boom. Double tap. I'm actually double tapping the V key on my keyboard. Which is what those two are keybound to. That was just something else that bugged the bejesus out of me in Sota. Um keybinds. You go I, I set it all up and went right from that school line I want everything on this key and it was like nope you can't do that <laughs> I was like no no I must do that and he was like no you bind something to a key that's it nothing else can be bound to the same key I was like but why I mean people got around it with you know auto hotkey and whatnot but yeah you couldn't sort of do it natively like you can with anarchy which wound the bloody chuff out of me. A knit debuff called over... Oh, right, I'll say... Oh, OK. Uh, I'm going to go for the Vogabond. They were hitting harder last time. Yeah, my new favourite weapon in Tale of Two Wastelands with World of Pain and everything else installed is uh, the medicine stick. After you take the cowboy perk. That's so much fun. Especially with bullet time and everything else modded in. Such a good game with that. Yay for both. No fighting with open doors. May as well be in the same room as the mobs next door. I always thought that was funny. In the original Deus Ex game, um, you, could, you could loot... Um, packet of cigarettes and then use them as though they were first aid and they damaged your health <laughs> oh, that was awesome don't smoke kids very bad for you the only thing you should put in your lungs is clean fresh air I wish I had medi blades. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel faster with them, much faster. And yet, you know, there's nothing slow about a deceit of the Zan. I think it's just the animation maybe is faster, I don't know. But yeah, it does medi blades feel faster. Could not tell you why. Even when they turned them into Costco bloody Christmas trees at one point. What the hell that was about. I think they were trying to get the scale correct for Atrox. <laughs> they kind of overguessed it a little bit. And they look like Christmas trees for a while. And they look savage, but yeah. No 
know, work down to the spider boss. She did a thing. She was spawning ads out of a... Um, she did have mechanics. They weren't that tricky, though. She was spawning slum runners. She was called the slum queen or something. <laughs> but yeah, she was spawning them out of a... I don't know what you'd call it. It looked like a pus-filled thing of horrible. Um... And die, yeah. The, uh, it, it would respawn itself on you know the platforms above the tracks where you would normally stand in a real tube station to get on the train. It would spawn it up there in various locations, and you just had to sort of go off and one hit it to get rid of it to stop it spawning the ads. So in a, in a sort of full team situation, you'd maybe have someone ranged doing that or something. I don't know. Mechanics to follow as we test more extensively. There was no guy on the, um, no foreman mob for the slippers when we were here last time on the, you know, the overpass that goes over the tracks. We didn't see him anywhere. So I don't know. Because normally you can see him from the tracks themselves, can't you? So. Tech striker is doing debuffs. Big old snare. Oh, what's it called? All oh, right. Nothing that new. <laughs> I was hoping for something new on them, you know? Some sort of nasty debuff or something. But... The attendant died and struck a pose. There you go, it's vanished. Debug warning, you don't have this nano program. Oh! Strange. I think I have on this. It's alright, he's broken it on me now. No, it's still working. Madshi E. Itan. Hi there, good to see Carlos still playing. Yes, I am. Welcome to the street. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. If 
you do have a tune that's 201 plus on test live you're more than welcome to come on in and join us there's no respawn so you can just run in pretty safely at least that's what we found the last time I don't think there are any Mad Valon that does ring a bell that's going back a ways though I can join doing a daily fast on test live Yeah, this is test live we're on. This this uh, dungeon is not on the live servers as yet. Oh, you mean doing your daily on test and on live and then yeah, if you want, if you can get over. And we've got about an hour and 30 minutes before the teleporter despawns, I think. It said it had a 2-hour lifespan. And it's been about 20-ish minutes since then, so you can get there before that and we're still here. I'm going to get the striker. He's the bigger threat of the two. Yep, 5k hit through RRFE. <laughs> Yeah, he's not mucking about, is he? Yeah, it'd be nice if the um, trash NPCs actually dropped stuff as well. They dropped first aids and the like on um, the live server. In the in the regular subway dungeon, so. and the garbage flea has critters. <laughs> we kill it, and they all jumped off. I'm thinking, possibly, yeah, they will eventually start dropping it. Or it might be just the bosses dropping it for now. But yeah, this is work in progress stuff. This is not the final dungeon. As far as we know, there's been two patches on test live since we came here last time, which was Sunday. So Monday and today, I think. We're doing things. Could be this dungeon, could be whatever. I don't know. I haven't checked anywhere on for any... Uh, extended information on that I'll check the test live section of the forums and see whether or not maybe they've got something that would be quite cool that's the new boss in the middle and I think she's aggroed so be prepared to get warped because she was warping last time I don't know if she snagged aggro on us I saw her turn in our direction so could be Yep, Queen of the Slums and Ads and Mind Control. Oh boy! Yep. <laughs> She's nasty. Okay, let's go. Defensive token board. Def oh God! Halt. Oh, it's running me down to the other slum runners. <laughs> no. Yeah. She does limit controls. Yes, thank you very much for the uh, good old courage of the just. I forgot to mention that. 
I am training us. Yes, she does make you train you. Unfortunately. Do I have the deaf foot plant? Uh, foot plant. Deaf feet. I do. Can I drop him in on this character? I can on live. A little short on sense. Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, still short. Need a bigger buff. Need enhanced senses, I think. What do I normally wear on Tesla? Is it? I think it's maybe that ring and something else. And I hot swap. Well, let's not do that right now, eh? <laughs> I've done it on uh, on the live server on my shade. Oppy shades can hot swap their uh, sims spirits rather. Don't need no treatment on shade. Yeah, Engie be good with AOE blinds for the ads. She does hit quite hard, mind you. But is her hitting me? I think so. I get so there's so much spam on shade with hot keys and whatnot. Even the music has given up on this fight. It's decided it's boring already. Damn thing spawn yeah these things slum runner spider egg that's it I don't know if that spawns extra ones or not it seemed like it was trying to last time but it could be quite broken you know not working yet kind of a deal You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Someone's been talking to Auto 2.0. Cratapult has reached enlightenment. Is that someone from the stream going, I'm making a crat. Stat. <laughs> By all means do. Yeah, it's a very good name, Cratapult. That's it, the... Um, the names on the test server are not governed by the names already used on the live server, so there's loads of good names still there. Still available. Thinking of changing this out for the um, the Bok, just have more ACs maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Might be the way to go. Don't know though. Nah. Yeah, these are the extra slum runners, they're coming in from these things around us. Which normally you can one hit. Uh oh. That was Sav.
She no likey. Yeah, that's why I just went for a bit of a run. Uh-oh. Courage of the just, please. Oh, it's rooted me here as well. And that thing exploded and spawned another spider. Savic. Get degeneration on it's not landing. It's not running it. Ceremonial embrace, you think If I can actually do it. Yep, got it. <laughs> I was like, thinking I'm going to get interrupted here. And Sav can't get back down. No, I'm going to die. Going to die. Yep, there I go. Yeah, we were doing okay, but the ads are kind of overpowering. So you do need a, a good solid raid team for this, I would say. You're sort of looking at, um, yeah, you can't get back down. That's what happened to me last time, Sav. So. You can re-enter, but you can't get in. Uh, where did I put those? Okay. Plus we lost all the big buffs. Yumi Himi was still fighting when I died. <laughs> Rip. Let me get some Fs in the chat, please. <laughs> I got an Mf on Test Live. It's just done, done, and I'm at work. Yes, thank you for the Fs. Yeah, so I think, being honest, this raid does really need you to... Um, you do need, you know, like, you, you sort of crack Engi, Keeper, Emph and a Dock. And you're probably, you're probably gold with that, but you do need that kind of team for it. Because many of the, um, the debuffs, etc. are pretty nasty. Yeah, I normally run with Nanite Deprivation. I wonder why I wasn't running it. Eh, memory. Not what it was. There we are. So yeah, there you go. There's a bit of action in the new server. On the uh, new subway. I think with a, a regular solid team, uh, you're probably going to be fine. Um, but, you know, little shaky-ish team like this. <laughs> yeah. We'll go again. Yeah, of course we will. Yeah. I'm not giving up. I'm just like, yeah, that'll do for one stream, I think. Um, but yeah, when this hits live, it's going to be a lot more fun because we can bring in lots of different tunes that we've all got, etc. You know, uh, and go and do that. I'm guessing the boss will have um, regen its health with no one in there. I'm going to check. You know, I am nothing if not an optimist, but I would, I would think. Done is done. It's probably re reset even. Without the ads, we, we'd have nailed it, I think. But it making you run off to the ends. Yeah, it's, it's redone its, uh, its reset. Um, with it doing that, looks <laughs> it looks goot and loot looks good i just wish F fc would do an interesting instance and not rehash like they did here and there but i don't mind them doing that i'd rather have a rehash than nothing you know um 
It's one of those. But we're missing a bunch of buffs now, guys. Anyway, we had our FE before. Now we don't. So I'd, I'd say leave it for now. Um, we can try again on Sunday. If people want to organise, you know, go make a tune on the test live server. It's incredibly easy. Um, you know, if, you, if you're willing to spend the hour it will take to sort of get all your gear on, etc. Um yeah, let's have a look at this now. Temporary two hours. It still says two hours, but then again, the way they do rounding in Anarchy, I think it'd have to drop to sort of one hour, 30 minutes before it would say one hour, 30 minutes. It's weird sometimes. Saying I'd like to visit some alien planets and give their own invading medicine. Then I'd like to travel to where the Zan... We're on their apotheosis, but who will make the story for us? Yeah, yeah, it would be good. Would be nice, would be nice. Cazador. Oh, I've had fun with Cazadors lately. So, yeah, good stuff. But yes, I think, I think we'll leave this stream here. Is anyone else doing the anarchy online? Let's have a look. Anyone else on? Just me? Just me, in which case, uh, anyone I know on, probably. Uh, yes, there is. Right, okay, so. We'll go and raid Che again. Go and say hi to Che. So, thank you everyone for coming along on the raid. It has been fun. And I will see you on Sunday. So do all go and say hi from me. <laughs>